Hey guys, my name is Kirsten and welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I am going to do an Ipsy versus Sephora play video. They finally came at the same time this month. I'm sorry I never got my December Sephora on there. It came so late and I got so busy at the end of the month and I was just like, eh, it's done past the time. So I'm glad these arrived on the same day. Not like a week and a half, two weeks apart like last month. So anyway, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with Ipsy since I've been getting it longer. Ooh, here's the bag. There is something in the box, or er, in the package. Not the bag, the bag, the bag was in. The bag, 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 bag exception. Sorry, I have not eaten yet. I just got my hair done. I'm starving and I was like, I said I would film this tonight and I'm gonna film it. So here we go. We've got a nice, bright, sporty looking bag. I like it. Makes me wish it was summer. And says, I will conquer blank, game face. So sporty, got the theme right. That's good. And the thing inside the package, but that did not fit in the actual Ipsy bag, is a bubble bath and body lemongrass and green tea stimulating hand cream. Fresh lemongrass and green tea infused with limey, lively lemon zest. I cannot talk tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. And citrus elements to stimulate and invigorate. Infused with essential oils. It is dry as hell and cold. It's probably not done. So I can use all the hand cream I can get right now. Ooh, they definitely made sure that was not going to spill in transit. Grab it. Does smell good. Very citrusy. I would put this on, but with my luck, I'll have to open some more things and then I wouldn't be able to open because my hands would be slippery. So, being smart. All right, first thing that I see and grabbed is a Pretty Woman nail polish. Bottom opened up in Johnny's Angels. Ooh, it is a very pretty bright blue. I like this color a lot. And I've gotten some Pretty Woman nail polishes from the um, from Ipsy before, and I do like them. They do seem to last a good amount of time as far as standard polishes go. The second thing I grabbed is a Trust Fund Beauty lipgasm exfoliating lip scrub again all about lip scrubs and lip balms and all that good stuff uh yep it's got plastic on it <laughs> static oh my gosh it is so hard to get these things off when you don't have just natural nails. I have a very grown out dip nail. Can I poke it? I think I poked it. It smells good. That poke didn't work. All right, there we go. Okay, so it's your typical scrub. Do you guys see that at all? Like you would have in a pot, just in a squeeze tube form makes it a little more convenient, I think. So you don't necessarily have to use your finger. Well, I guess you do to rub it. Just a different way to present it, I guess. Um, next is a Global Beauty Care Charcoal Wash-Off Mask. 15 minute facial therapy, deep cleansing mud-based formula, unclogs pores and lifts away impurities for all skin types. Awesome. I like charcoal stuff. Next up, I am grabbing a NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick uh, in Lipley. All right, guys, I can already tell this is probably too light for me. And I'm debating if I should try it on in camera or leave it untouched so I can give it to, like, a friend. I guess I could always... No, my mom's tanner than me. She wouldn't, wouldn't do her any good. I've got a couple of close friends that wouldn't care that my lips were on it. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. All right. So I have bought 
one other NYX lingerie and it feels great. Like they're very soft, but oh uh, yeah, see, I just feel like it's too light. This is not the most precise application. But you get the idea. Yeah, this what does it look like in the mod? Yeah. I feel like this just washes me out and I look really pale, so I'll probably be gifting that to a friend. I'll leave it on for the duration of this, because why not? And last but not least, in my Ipsy box or Ipsy bag, box bag, whatever, is the benefit or no, the balm, not benefit, sorry, bees. The Balm Cosmetics, the Mary Lou Menizer. Nice highlighter. Do, do, do. You might recognize this brush. I got this from a previous one. I mean, it's your, you know, for my color skin, it is your stereotypical can't go wrong highlighter, you know? It's not like blinding, but it's pretty. I will probably stick this in my work bag. I don't think I have a highlighter in there, um, or a little small one at least. So yeah, overall, some good picks. The only thing I really wasn't digging was that NYX lingerie um, lipstick, which, you know, it's just not the color for me. Um, I did update my Ipsy profile, so like, you know, blonde, light skin, so I'm sure it probably would work for some people, but I just know if I get too light, it just, it washes me out. So, unfortunately, that's just how it works with me. Okay, now we are going to move on to the Sephora Playbox. This is my third Playbox, but only the second one that is featured on my channel because I got lazy. And yes, I am sorry. It's the end of the year, all that crap caught up to me, you know? So this is the bag. It says, Happy You Year. How's 2018? A little gal peeking out with her little party crown behind a banner. Let's dig in. Oop. This is immediately basically on my hands. So we have some hair care, some moisturizing shampoo and conditioner from Caviar Anti-Aging. Nourish and restore dry hair free of parabens, sulfates, and synthetic color. Anti-aging hair care. Interesting. Okay. Next up, I have some Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Oh, so if your primer and your moisturizer had a baby, it would be this little guy. I know it's just supposed to be a sample, but like, really? That's so small. Okay, next up, I grabbed the Lancome Eyelash Primer. I love this stuff. I don't have any right now, so this is great. Love it. It works. It really does. It pre-lengthens your lashes, and then you put mascara on, and then it like builds off of that. So great. I even have the matching... Um, Hypnostrama. I like these two together. Do, 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 do. Next, we have some Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. I first got some Glam Glow from Sephora for um, one of my samples I tried and I loved it and I've actually bought some stuff because of that sample. So kudos Sephora and Glam Glow, you got me. It smells good. And it look it's gray, like a light gray color. Awesome. I do like Glam Glow a lot, so that's exciting. And we also have some Clinique Pep Start eye cream and another inky dinky tiny sample. Okay. I mean it's for your eyes, so you don't need a ton, but you know. This one's for your whole face. Like, so, you know, using this logic, if this is good enough for some, a good sample for two of your eyeballs, 
this is for your whole face. Like, what is this, like, three times? or Not literally, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, is your skin even going to get used to it by then? Can you really do a full wear test? Anyway, sorry, I will quit complaining about the sample sizes. And last but not least is the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. I like fresh things, and I like toners, so this sounds promising. I was just about out of toner, so this came at a really good time. I will use this up before I order more. So yeah, um, I liked this box too. I liked the last month's better, sorry. Especially the, I will show you one thing I got in last month's box, a little uh, sample. I got the Smashbox eyeshadow, and these are really pretty neutral brown shades. Um, in Turned On and Psyched. So, fun fact. Um, the only thing I really didn't care for, I guess, I didn't not care for anything, it was just the sample sizes were kind of a bummer. Um, and here, the hair thing. This is not gonna really do my whole hair. I have really fine hair, but I have a lot of it, so it usually takes me a little bit more, um, product than the samples they give you. Like, I use a whole freaking hotel shampoo and conditioner and like two goes so we'll see for this round for ten dollars a month if i could only choose one which one I, would i go with this month you know uh, i think this month i would go with sephora very marginally just because i do really like the brands they sent me um i don't like this lipstick I just feel like I look really washed out in it. Um, very close though. This is not a super easy decision. Um, nor is it life or death. It doesn't matter. This is all for fun. But yes, I would go with these four play box for my pick for January 2018. That's so weird to say. It's 2018, guys. Um, that's all I have for you for this video. Hopefully I will have a new one up soon. Until then, please comment below with what you got in your Ipsy bag and if you already are doing Sephora Play, what you thought of this box. And I will talk to you later. Bye guys!